Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Wilderman, and welcome to my new series that I'm going to be calling The Hardest Games. So in this series, you can expect me to play some really goddamn difficult games. I love playing difficult games, it's a lot of fun. And uh, for the first game we're going to play, we're going to be playing Perfect Cherry Blossom, which is part of the Toho series, which is a famous series in Japan. It's a shmup game, a curtain shooting game, and I haven't played it in a long time, but I practiced a lot today. Now, I'm not going to be playing the main game. I'm going to be playing something called the Extra Stage, Extra Level, and the Extra Level is basically this really goddamn insanely hard optional level that uh, we can do. So, anyways, let me show you what it's all about. It's really goddamn hard, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get this first try, but let's do it. Cherry tree was already in bloom fully, however, Japanese heart is not satisfied yet. Let's make a Canadian one. We can say... The maple syrup was already bottled, but Canadian heart was not yet satisfied yet. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, this game is insanely hard, it's really fast, but it is also a lot of memorization too. Um, you know, you gotta know what's coming up next, and... I just came off of practicing this, and I did just beat it once. Um, out of like 20 tries, so you know, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to beat this or not But I'm gonna try why not what the heck? Screw you and your little glowy bullets. I wonder if they actually hurt. Well, they kill me in one hit by the way So if they touch me, I'm done I'm done. And that's it. Well, I have lives over to the sides of the player I also have bombs I can use like if I'm about to I get hit, I can use a bomb, and it pretty much just clears all the bullets out of the way and does a shitload of damage. So it's useful in like an emergency situation, you're like, oh my god, what the fuck? And then you use a bomb. It's quite convenient. And look at it, so we're already, we're at a mini boss now. But watch out this time, I'm a totally new Shikigami. Hey, I've seen this kitty before. That's how they talk, by the way, I think. Holy shit, you can see it, see it? It gets going really quick, but I knew what was coming. Oh shit, I am so close to the screen right now. This is not healthy! Okay, see, I panicked and I used a bomb. I had to. Okay, I'm getting in gaming mode. I'm, like, really, like, hunched over like a true gamer. Okay, so this thing I have right now, it's a border that I get. It's like a cherry petal border. So, it's really useful because I can take one hit while it's active, but it gets smaller and smaller, and then when it's really small, it goes away. Okay, well, yeah. I'll try to e explain this game the best I can, but it's really hard as of, like, going through all this. Like, by the way, you should do this! And this one, see, oh god, oh, oh god, I couldn't get through there. Sometimes if I can get through there, I don't use a bomb. But if I was going really slow like that, then I end up just using a bomb to get out of that. Okay, holy crap, Ola. Now, keep in mind, guys, this playthrough, it's not going to be pretty. Um, you know, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that are like, you know, the harder up difficulty of this is called the Phantasm Extra Stage, which is like the har absolute hardest thing in the game. And I'm not at that level at all. Uh, I just finished the extra stage myself, which is still pretty goddamn good. Oh! Oh, I used another bomb. I fail. I usually don't use a bomb there. But one thing I can give you, one piece of advice, is it's better to use a bomb when you panic than to actually lose a life. Because your bombs refill when you lose a life anyways. So, yeah. And also, when you get that border, what you can do is if you run into a bullet, it destroys all the bullets that are around you. Um, if you have that border, so basically, if the border just goes away, it doesn't destroy all the bullets around it. But if you utilize it like that, you can, but you get more points if you keep the border, and you do something called grazing. And grazing is, basically, you can see over there on the right, it says graze. And what grazing is, is if I, oh shit, this is bad, this is bad! Oh no, I messed that one up because I was talking, and I, oh, fuck, that sucks dick. I messed that one up because I was talking, yeah, this is really easy, actually, I can't believe I died here. But anyways, grazing is when a bullet just goes by you without actually hitting you, and you get more points if you graze. Um, because this game's hardcore! Hardcore shit! Okay, now I'm coming to the boss, and the boss is nuts. The boss... I smell a human. Oh, that's a human? Holy shit, okay. Oh, I'm mistaken. No, you aren't. Apparently you're alive. Well, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Are you dead? Appearance is enough to judge. Apparently you're a fox. Yeah, okay, it's not a human, it's a fox. It's a human fox! <gasps> Apparently you're a dog. A dog? What? Don't judge something by looks alone. Yeah, my name is Saku, you bitch. Don't mistake me for a simple beast, either. I'm the Shikigami of a powerful master. Well, I'm gonna bitch slap you with my magical bullets. Magical power! My powers far exceed those of blah, 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 blah. Not to mention those of dogs or humans, okay? 
There is not a great difference. Blah, blah, okay, blah, blah, I'm skipping it. The dialogue in this game sucks. Okay, now this is when shit gets real, my friends. Oh my god. I am so intensely focused. Nothing can break my focus. Ah! I'm probably gonna sound like I'm constipated for this whole entire thing, so I'm really sorry about that. Oh, yeah. I'm a constipated player, man. Okay, so pretty much what this boss is gonna do is this boss is gonna throw a bunch of shit at me for first bar of health, and then she's gonna use a spell card, which is like a super ability right now that she's using. And yeah, it's the spell card is the hard part. Well, actually, the other part's really hard too. Everything's hard about this. So this one's not too bad. All I have to do is like slightly move over. It looks really crazy. Oh, one up, come on to me. Yes, one up. Thank you. Oh, baby. Yeah, this part's pretty goddamn hard. But see, I have a barrier. I'm just like, go for blow. Can I get rid of everything? It's a useful thing to do. I'm probably not gonna win this actually. You know. I've already died a couple lives. I might if I'm really lucky, but I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get pretty lucky here. Okay, so this one, what I like to do is if I have a border, I get rid of those, and then I quickly go into the bottom right corner as that's the safest place, because this place is it's just nuts! It's just nuts! It's nuts, I tell you! Oh my god! Okay, I got it, I got it. See the health up there? All those little blocks are basically full health recharges that she has. So it's gonna take a while to bring her down. Like pretty much like 75% of this level is all her! It's cut easy! Okay, this one's not too bad. They're more spread out, but they're faster now. The kunai! Oh, that almost hit me! I'm so lucky she cut her out! <gasps> oh, the tanuki laser. Actually, this one's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad anyways. You just gotta make sure you don't screw yourself over! The lasers can box you in, like, really easily. But what I do is I just go all the way over, and then go all the way over. So you go over to the side, she shoots over there, and then you quickly go over in the other direction. So she'll go over that- Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now this is a really easy part. This is about 50% of the way through. Uh, she's just like, you know what, I'm gonna give you a bit of a break, because you're probably sweating, and your palms are sweaty, and you're probably, uh so intensely focused. Your face is so close to the screen. Holy shit, I really gotta stop losing focus there. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one with a passion. This one is goddamn hard. Those red things will kill you. Um, only in the very middle, like in the dark red, but in the light red they won't. So you gotta be really careful. But all the green shit's moving around too. Oh, I almost got hit there. But I used a bomb. I usually all always have to use a bomb here. You basically get something called a spell card if you do it perfectly. I'd use another bomb. Um, and you don't use any bombs. If you use a bomb, you don't get her spell card, which is just a special thing. And you also get a big bonus. Points. But I'm not even concerned about points right now. I'm completely concerned about my survivability. So, this is not a point walkthrough. There's other guys that get, like, uber points. They graze everything and they're, like, just missing every last little bullet by, like, the tiniest little bit. And it's so crazy! Oh my god! Oh, holy shit. Okay. What's this one? Illusion. Oh, I know this one. This one's a bit annoying if you don't know what to do. So she's gonna fire, and then she's gonna come to me, but she's invisible. I go down, and then I go over. But the trick is to keep the pattern. As soon as you lose the pattern, you really screw yourself over. And I might lose it. I, I often do lose it, like, halfway through this. I'm like, bleh, and then I lose the pattern. Oh, get down there! Oh, what are you doing? You're too far, you're too far, you're too far! Oh my god, no! Come on. Oh! Fucking... That sucks. Okay, well, I'm gonna lure her up here and just finish her off. Alright, I got another bomb coming. That's nice, I guess. Oh, this one's not too bad. It's... They're coming a little faster! But it's not too bad. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! oh. Yes, I got it! I'm actually... I'm not in that bad of shape. I could be doing better, but I'm okay. This one's not too bad. This one just requires patience. Okay, get rid of those bullets. And now, and by the way, this isn't a Nazi symbol. This is a Buddhist symbol. Uh, basically, this is the, a peaceful sign until the Nazis took it and switched it around the other way, by the way. 
Anyways, so this one, as you can see, the blue and the red changes when that noise happens. So you gotta listen for that noise. So it's gonna change, and then when the red one happens, I slow down and I go into the middle. By the way, if I press a button, I slow down and my shot changes to this homing shot. And you can see, like, the little dot inside of me when I hold down R1, and that's my hitbox. So, unless something actually hits that little red, or that little dot, then I won't die. Okay, oh, that's a perfect time for a border to come up, because there's a bunch of these small ones that come, and I can just get them all out of the way like that, and hopefully she will, I will defeat her before those small ones come to me again, come on! Oh, that's not too bad, okay. Oh god, this is stressful, holy shit! Okay, sorry, I forgot about that, get out of here! So this one, she launches them out towards me, and then they all come back and they spin around really quick. It's really, really insane. So I gotta dodge, 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 and then they come back around! Oh, but then she's already throwing the other ones out by the time that one arrives. Oh, boy! And I'm sorry, because I'm using fraps, I don't know my game- Oh, I almost died, but I used a bomb right when I got hit. If you use a bomb right at that exact time that you get hit, you won't die. So I'm using fraps, and for some reason, it's running okay, but it's like... At random times when the spell card changes, it's like glitching out really quick. Oh, am I gonna do this? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Okay. Oh, this one's not too bad. That other girl's gonna launch around Ren. I think her name is Ren. I'm not sure. And anyways, she's gonna launch around, and I gotta watch out for her and her bullets! Okay, that was an emergency situation. Um, I'm freaking out. Better to use a bomb than to die. Better to use a bomb than to die. It doesn't look pretty at all. Okay. It looks prettier when you're like weaving and bobbing and weaving and you're like, I'm a badass, look at me, I'm crazy. But, but, this is about survivability here. Oh shit, so much for survivability, huh? Survivability's out the window now. Oh no, well it's still in the window, I hope it's in the window. Oh no, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? <gasps> oh shit, this is nuts. Basically all that's gonna happen is bullets are start gonna, they're gonna start flying from all, whatever, from all sides. From everywhere! <laughs> and then this thing's gonna start moving around, basically. If I touch those other things, or I try to leave this area that I'm in... Oh my god! Then I'm gonna lose, and I gotta... There's a timer up there in the top right that you can see. And I gotta survive until then. But basically, shit's gonna get crazy! Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay, used a bomb at the last second and got out of it. Oh, uh -huh. uh, okay, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Everything's all going according to plan. Kind of. Ah! Okay, no, 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 no. I'm doing okay. I still got this. I still got some bombs at my disposal I can use. And I got two lives. I can do this. Come on, everyone cheer. Eric, Eric. Clap your hands together. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Okay, I had to use a bomb. That's it, I did, I survived that. Okay, this is it, she's in her last bar of health. All I gotta do is defeat this, and then I've defeated extra stage. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so right now, this is the last bar of health. She's gonna be like, oh, I'm really easy. <laughs> I'm really easy, don't worry about me. And then she's gonna add another layer to the pattern. Oh, there's another layer. Oh, it's still pretty easy. It's still pretty easy. But then she's gonna add more layers to the pattern until it gets absolutely crazy. But I have a lot of bombs, so I'm okay. Oh, more patterns. More patterns, let's get- Oh, shit, no, I died of life there. Oh, no, if I lose here. Well, no, I have one and a bit life left. I'll probably have to use some bombs. I should have used a bomb there. I'm trying- I should play it more safe than I am. I'm not playing it safe. I'm trying to be cool. I'm trying to bob and weave because I have lives left. I'm like, don't worry, I'll bob and weave. I'm gonna show off my mad skills. Mad skills! Mad skills! Oh! Ah! No, I got this, I got this. Come on. I don't need to use a bomb. Bombs are for pusses! Bombs are for pusses! Holy shit! Okay, I used a bomb. I'm sorry, I'm a puss, I guess. But she disappears when you use a bomb when she's using her spell cards. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Yeah! <laughs> oh no! Don't get cocky! <laughs> that would suck if I did. Oh! Guys, I did it! Uh! Uh! Eric Van Wilderman! Uh! Uh! Anyways, this is... Okay, well, let's see what she says. Well then, go back to the hills or something. Ouch! Chen's probably depressed too since she's no longer Shikigami possessed. So I've defeated these annoyances. However, I sense there's a mastermind of this whole mess. 
Help me, master, you cowardly! This is more than I can handle! More annoyances than you can cause? What exactly is your master doing? Leaving her shikigami running around like a- <laughs> Sleeping! Then wake her up! I have to be back at the hills in order to wake her up! So, she's not around then. Master is such an annoying shikigami, eh? So she's talking about the master, which is on the very hard extra stage. I imagine we fight the master. Which, that extra hard stage is, like, the same, but it's just the patterns are harder. Like, they're a little different. I don't deny that. Anyway, I'll be back when your master is awake. In the meantime, wake her up properly. You aren't quite making sense. Just do it. Sob. Well, you know, when I unlock the super hard one, maybe I'll give it a shot, but I don't know. This took a lot of practice. I've been practicing all night just to beat this. And when I recorded, I went to record and I beat it first try, baby. Oh! So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, this is part one of my hardest games um, series that I'm going to start to do on my channel. Just every now and then, I'm just going to play a hardest a really hard game, you know? So if you have an ide any ideas for it too, you can leave a comment and be like, Eric, you should totally play this really hard game, and because, yeah, it's really hard, and that'd be a perfect game for your hardest game series. And I would be like, thank you, you are amazing. Thanks for taking the time and leaving a comment. So anyways, I will see you in, oh, look, as you can see, you can see it. Oh, look, and it says I had like some slowdown, but that's bullshit. That's just because I had fraps running, and I don't know, fuck, who knows. <laughs> anyways, guys, I will see you in future episodes, huh? Peace. I should use my own hand. Whoa! You grabbed my hand, yeah! I see what it did. Ah, get away! Stop touching my hand!